What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my full-time job is selling stuff on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. And today is a beautiful Friday. I wanna end the work week on a pretty strong note. So first things first, I'm gonna get some stuff listed this morning, and then I will just kind of do like a daily vlog style video for you guys. I wanted to show you some updates, things that I've changed in my business that I haven't yet mentioned on YouTube or even Instagram. Just fill you guys in some of the stuff you've been missing out on and then we'll go from there. See where this video takes us. Stick around. I'm gonna try to get at least 10 listings up today, but right now I'm gonna do just five and just knock those out real fast and then we'll get into the rest of our day. Let's start with something really easy like this New Bright RC battery. I found this in a Goodwill mystery pallet. So probably, I don't know, probably less than a penny into this and this should sell for like 20 bucks. So let's get it. Boom. Listed. Picked up this nice pair of Sanook men's shoes yesterday for $6.50. Got some cool designs on there. Basically like new condition, very gently used. Boom. Listed. I got this cool dual finger grip coffee mug. I found it in a Goodwill mystery pallet. Probably got pennies into it. So I think I might auction this off. I don't know. I've, I've been doing a lot more auctions lately just because they're fun. I found these two uh, drums over here that I haven't showed you guys yet. Haley and I went to the Goodwill bins last weekend. I found these two uh, Tama uh, Roto drums. This one's a Swing Star and this one's a Rock Star. And I looked up sold comps and they were kind of all over the place, like forty to like a hundred dollars. Uh, so I thought oh, let's just auction off and see what happens. And I think. I think they're both up to about a $60 to $70 range right now. I'll have to check, but I paid $2 a piece for these at the at the bins. Again, the Swing Star and the Rock Star. And when you're getting those notifications on an on an auctioned item, like bid receive, bid receive, bid receive, bid receive, like it's it's fun. <laughs> like it's really fun. So I'm starting to auction off some more stuff. So maybe I'll just throw this mug up on auction and see what happens. Again, I'm not gonna lose money. I, it's almost free. It, it came in a pallet that was 25 bucks, so probably less than a penny into the mug. So let's auction off and get it, boom, listed. I don't usually look for coffee mugs in the wild because there's so few of them that are worth any significant amount of money. Most good, you know, decent coffee mugs are gonna sell for like 10 bucks or so, 10 to $15, maybe free shipping. And then they're that weight that if you try to make the package light enough to go first class, it's probably not gonna be packed well enough and the mug might break. I've seen so many videos of people that sell coffee mugs and try to minimally pack it to get it like 15.9 ounces to send first class, then it ends up breaking in shipment and they have to refund the whole order. And then once it gets into priority, if, it, if it's too big to fit in a padded flat rate envelope, I mean, it's gonna cost 15 bucks to send that coffee mug just from like South Carolina to California. Um, and then that shipping cost usually eats into most of the profits on 90% of coffee mugs you're gonna find. So there are good coffee mugs. I've seen people sell them for like 50 or $100 if you can find the right ones, but uh, it, I, I've tried it in the past and I have not had success. I found that one in a pallet, so yeah, I'll sell it. I found one at the, at the bins the other day for like you know, 25 cents, and I think I sold that for 15 bucks free shipping, and it costs like $8 to, to ship out. So I made good profit on that because it was like a 25 cent coffee mug, but most thrift stores, even around here, it, with my really good thrift store prices, they're gonna charge two to three dollars maybe up, up to like 3.99 for a coffee mug and there's just there's not many coffee mugs out there at that buy cost that are worth the hassle in my opinion next up is another goodwill mystery palette fine again i've got probably 10 cents or so into this this little stern's youth life jacket it's a little early in the year to start selling this kind of stuff but it's just sitting in my death pile over here anyway so i figured i'd go ahead and get it listed and see if it can sell I actually sold some sunscreen like a five pack of sunscreen uh, a couple weeks ago in the middle of january to somebody in tennessee so just because it doesn't seem like an item is in season doesn't mean that Dave Ramsey's just popping up on my screen. Dave, Dave, please, now is not the time. Just because it's not the season for an item doesn't mean it won't sell. So, yeah, this is likely to more likely to sell later on in the year, but nothing's stopping it from being sold right now. And, of course, let's get it boom, listed. And the last thing I'm listing this morning is this really cool vintage Coleman uh, propane lantern made in the USA. I actually found this at Goodwill yesterday for $4.94. I just took the price tags off. There's the price tag. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's dead. I, I think it's dead stock because these things have never been burned. And the manual is still in there. The Instaclip uh, Mantless Manchon. I don't even know what that is. But, I mean, the thing, the thing is brand new. Like, never, never, ever used. It's not worth a ton of money. Um, 
I mean, soul comps are kind of all over the place, much like the uh, the drums we found the other day. So I'm going to take some good pictures of this and list it as an auction. I think that's the best bet. These things sell pretty regularly. I think I looked up soul comps and there's like 19 that have sold in the last 90 days, which is a, a pretty good sell through rate. Um, obviously, there's some listed. Oh, there's another. I'm going to take that price tag off there. Um, I think that's a pretty good sell through rate. Um, and I think given that it's dead stock and I don't see another one like this listed, uh, it's still got the manual and everything inside. Uh, I think it has a pretty good chance of selling for a decent amount. Some of the some of the sole comps are as high as like forty or fifty dollars plus shipping. So, spent less than five bucks on it. I'm gonna auction off starting ninety nine cents plus shipping. That's another thing that if you're ever gonna auction something off starting at ninety nine cents, you definitely want to make sure you charge the buyer shipping because the last thing you want is to sell something like this and it gets one bid for ninety nine cents and then you put free shipping on there. So you're gonna lose like you know, 15 to 20 bucks on, on one item because you didn't charge the buyer shipping. Uh, so I'm excited about this. I think it's a really cool item. A lot of people out there collect these things. Uh, so we're gonna get it listed. We're gonna get it, boom, listed. So there are my five items listed for today. I already feel, feel good, feel like we're starting off the day on the right foot here. I wanna show you guys these like crates I picked up on Facebook Marketplace the other day. Shout out to a viewer named Jason who met me at the bins and sent me a link to these on Facebook Marketplace because I love them. They're like egg crates. They're 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 like plastic crates that hold eggs. I guess like the egg man like <laughs> gets to keep them and then every couple months when he has a few available, he'll post them on Facebook Marketplace. He sells these for three bucks a piece and I love them. I bought 10 of them from him and this is what they look like once they're on the shelf it's just like a you know they can lay flat this is uh five of them like laid flat right there but they open up and click into place and they have these like you can open it to reach in and then you can fold it up and pop it into place like that and make it a make it a crate that you could put stuff in um, so i like it i'm gonna put probably four on this top row um, just to keep stuff a little bit more organized and then it's kind of hard to do with one hand but you just and then it opens and you can reach in there and get it so three bucks, three bucks a piece, spent 30 bucks on 10 of those. Love it, love it so far. Uh, makes it, makes my death pile slightly, slightly more organized, maybe like 5% more organized. Uh, I gotta get rid of some of this stuff, guys. I also realized that I have not yet given away the mystery box from the Wholesale Ninjas lot that I picked up. So let's go do that right now. All right, so here I am on the YouTube comment picker. We're gonna right click and paste the link to the Wholesale Ninjas video over here. Uh, then we're going to get YouTube comments. Let's see how many total, total comments we got working with here. 1,690 individual comments. So let's go ahead and start the raffle and see who won. And the winner is Susan B. Thanks for the info and another way to source for stock when the pickings are slim. Susan B, uh, shoot me an email, harrytornado at gmail.com. Again, that's harrytornado at gmail.com. We'll verify this you and I'll get the mystery box sent out to you. Thanks for entering and watching the video. I had a really good amount of things going out yesterday that we sold the day before, but I didn't film a vlog yesterday. Or I did, but uh, it's a special one and it won't be out until next Monday. But uh, that was really fun to make, but I didn't film any pulling and packing orders yesterday. But just because you guys, if you buy something from me and it doesn't make it into a video, please don't think that I'm not appreciative. Uh, I, I try my best to give shout outs to as many people as I possibly can, but um, it it's, it's, gets really hard, especially if I don't film a vlog that day. So if you bought something for me recently and that you haven't made it in the video yet, uh, I love you so much and I'm really, really thankful. Uh, but today we've got uh, four things that sold. One is a Support Your Friends uh, sweatshirt uh, hoodie. Uh, so I don't have to pull that one, but I got three things we got to get pulled back and shipped out. So let's get at it. First thing it should be down here. Some more of this uh, eye gel, which which hazel stuff. I got it at Dream Deals on uh, what a dollar day. I think it was dollar day, and it sold for nine ninety nine free shipping to a viewer named Alicia from Houston, Texas. Alicia, thank you so much for your support. Next item is in the R bin, and it's the cool uh, Ninja Turtle that we found at the bins a couple weeks ago. He had his uh, the Build a Bear Ninja Turtle. He had his backpack on backwards, but we went ahead and fixed that. Uh, I paid, I don't know, probably like 50 cents for this. Probably less than that because um, stuffed animals are super cheap in my Goodwill bins. So probably less than 50 cents. And this sold for $19.99. Free shipping. It's kind of heavy. It's probably going to have to go priority, unfortunately, unless I can ball it up enough to shove it in a padded flat rate envelope. But I doubt that's going to happen. So making a little bit of money, uh, but not not as much as I should. I feel like I probably should have charged less for the item and then calculated shipping. I feel like that would have been a, a better option for this. But I think this sold to a viewer as well. I remember getting a message about this 
uh, and the buyer is Latasha from Marion, Virginia. So Latasha, thank you for your support. If you're a viewer, if I'm mixing that up, uh, you're not a viewer, thank you for the support anyway. And the last item is in the W file. I love this filing cabinet system, man. It's awesome. I've been putting a ton of stuff in here. This is a N64 Mario Golf game. I actually got an N64 from my neighbor. I had bought some stuff like an Xbox and stuff from their yard sale. And I told them what I did. I'm selling eBay. And then like two months later, she sent me a Facebook message and she was like, hey, we found a Nintendo, old Nintendo in the attic. Do you want it? She didn't give it to me. She offered to like sell it to me. And I offered her 50 bucks for it because it was a personal use purchase at that time. Uh, so I paid 50 bucks for it. I had like three controllers, no games, but the system three controllers and all the cords. I sold two controllers for like 20 bucks plus shipping each. So I made almost all my money back on those. And then I played the Nintendo for three or four months. It, the only game I played was Mario Golf. I bought this game on eBay for like 30 bucks You know, when I first got the N64. Played it, got bored of it. Then I listed the Nintendo 64 the other day with one the one remaining controller. I think I have it listed for $89 plus shipping, something like that. Uh, it should sell. It's, it's listed on the high end of sold comps, but it should sell for that price eventually. Uh, and then I just sold the Mario game for $29.99 plus shipping, which is, which is exactly what I paid for it, $29.99 free shipping. So I basically rented Mario Golf for Nintendo 64 for the eBay fees, essentially like 2 or $3. So pretty good. I love buying stuff that holds its value. Like I'm starting to stream on Twitch now, so I'm buying... You know, I, 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 um, I got my, my capture card so I can have my, my video games on the computer and I'm getting a stream deck to like, it's, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't stream, but it's things that help me stream. But if I ever get out of Twitch and want to not do it anymore, I can probably sell all of my equipment for pretty much exactly what I paid for it. So it's, it's really interesting. Like it's expensive to get into YouTube with cameras and all the equipment and computers and stuff. Computers don't hold their value quite as well as cameras and stuff do, but um, like my, but it's GoPro, GoPro Hero 7 Black. You can get them brand new right now for probably 200 to 250 bucks. You could use it, and if you don't like it, you could sell it for 200 to 250 bucks, even used. You know, it just stuff like that just holds their value. So uh, it's it's fun. It's fun. So it didn't uh, didn't make any money on this. Uh, probably lost a couple bucks, but it was fun. The last order that support your friend's hoodie that is print on demand and I don't have to ship out sold to a viewer named Andrew from Meadville, Pennsylvania. So Andrew, thanks so much for your support, man. I really appreciate it. So this is the Ninja Turtle. I just put it in, in two poly bags to make it extra protected. And as you can see, it's just over a pound. So it can't go first class and it's too bulky to shove into a padded flat rate envelope. So I just sent it regular priority, but uh, luckily enough, it's only going to cost $7.96 to send out, which is actually pretty much the same price as a padded flat rate envelope i think i feel like i feel like padded flat rate envelopes have increased in price a little bit lately the last one i sent out was like eight dollars even i think so maybe it's cheaper i don't i don't know whenever shipping changes and shipping prices you know increase or, or change at all it takes me a while to catch up but uh 796 to ship this out is not bad at all against again we spent like 50 cents on it sold it for 20 bucks free shipping 796 to ship so making like uh i don't know 10 11 12 bucks in profit all right, so you guys know how excited I was to get this filing cabinet and start using it. Like every time I pull an order out of there, I just, I love it more and more. It's like the perfect space saver. It's, I love it. I'm just super pumped about this. And after I made the first YouTube video about it, a viewer named Jordy reached out and he made like, I guess you call it like a graphic design or something to, to like celebrate the file cabinet excitement that I was showing on the video. And he showed it to me and I absolutely loved it. He sent me the file and he was like, yeah, you're welcome to you know put it on a shirt or a poster or whatever and you know use it as merch. And I was like, dude, I love the idea. So I, I felt like it was better suited for a poster in limited edition. So I only ordered like 20 or 25 of them. Uh, but the support your friends posters are no more. I'm not doing those anymore, at least not the old design. So I needed a new one to replace those. And so here's the here's the file cabinet one more time, W, X, Y, and Z. And here is the graphic design that Jordy made. And look at that, it says, not alphabetical, alphabetical. Look at that. I love it. It's simple. It's something that's like an inside joke. Like, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get it unless you were a viewer of the Harry Tornado YouTube channel, which is perfect for merch. Like that's like a, a really cool factor in, in merch. Like a lot of YouTubers merch doesn't make sense unless you've watched their channel. Uh, so I love it. I love the file cabinet. I love the poster. Uh, I'll have these linked. Uh, I'll put a link to my eBay listing for these. These will be the same price as my 
support your friends posters 14.99 free shipping uh, and again i only have like 20 or 25 of them and i'm not ordering anymore so i didn't think a lot of people would be interested in these but i love it so when they sell out they're sold out and they're done and uh jordy thanks for, thanks so much for for making this man i really appreciate that i know it probably took a good amount of time and it's awesome love it Mose, let's go you've been outside forever come on let's go <sighs> he never wants to come inside so we keep this bag of marshmallows by the back door because he really likes them so we just get get one i know i know marshmallows aren't good for dogs or whatever but we just give him one little baby one come on get it come on i know you want it get it get it there he goes he's gonna do a little drive by and then he's off to the races bye Moz. love you so much clean up a little bit gonna head to the post office and I also have a haircut today I'm sure some of you are wondering why I'm not wearing a hat because I wear a hat in like every single video I do but on the days I get a haircut I like wash my hair in the morning and then I don't want to wear a hat because it like mats it down and I want to make sure that Crystal the girl who cuts my hair I want to make sure she has a beautiful blank canvas to work with <laughs> whenever she starts cutting if I wear a hat all day it's all mushed and she'll have to like wet it and mess it up and it just it's, it's hard to cut hair that's been inside of a hat all day so that's that's why I don't have a hat on. Although I definitely don't need to because I have plenty of stuff in the garage that I can list. I feel pretty good that I listed five things today, so I feel like I deserve a nice little trip to Goodwill. From this nice Canon camera bag, it's like the, the backpack version, the DSLR camera over there. You got some spots for your lenses and stuff. The only thing is I don't see a price tag on it anywhere. Hey, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I didn't, see a, I didn't nice. see a sticker on that. Okay, well, um, you got it off the bag wall yes, there? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 575. 575? Okay, I'll, I'll yeah. take a chance on Unless that. Unless they have a, a specific a class on it, uh -huh. then they're just the 575. Okay. So only 575 for this uh, pretty nice Canon camera bag. It even has spots for like SD cards and stuff in the front. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but... Uh, I think that's a good deal, 575 for that. Uh, I probably should go put it in the car first. I want to head over there to the... Yeah, YouTube, what's up, man? Sub like and subscribe, Harry Tornado. Hey, y'all be helping me out all the time. Uh, you, you learning stuff, learning what's valuable? Yeah. That's right, good luck, man. Hey, thank you. Look at there, changing lives, people. Lunch was very satisfactory. I'll give you one guess about where I went. If you know me at all, you can probably guess. Drop a comment on this video and, and guess where I had lunch today. You'll, you'll, you'll probably get it if you've watched the channel at all. But I'm gonna go into one more Goodwill right here see if we can find something else that we don't need. Of course, I came right to the shoes. I found this pair, it's called Four Brothers. Never heard of this before, but these are literally brand new. Still have the little thing in there and they're just regular price, just $6.50. And I figured just like the style of them would be worth grabbing like that. I think they're they're a men's men's size 11, which is a good size. I think they have a good look to them. Sometimes it's not all about brand. It's about like how the shoes look. I think I could get these for 650 and maybe get 20 bucks plus shipping or so. And this nice <clears throat> Bridgestone golf hat. Make golf easier. Bridgestone golf, adjustable one size. Hats are going to be a dollar or either a dollar or 50 cents. I don't really remember, but... Uh, really good condition like no signs of wear probably get like 10 15 bucks plus shipping of course I need to look for a stuffed animal to bring home for most oh, this little Pikachu is that a Pikachu who is that I don't know who that is what is this that's not a stuffed animal this one's good Frankie's fun park I'll grab it. These are 50 cents. That was not a bad trip. I spent $9.75, rounded up to 10 because she was nice and asked me to. I got uh, everything you saw, the stuffed animal for Moe's, the pair of shoes, and the Bridgestone hat, but I also got this cool pair of Star Wars pajama pants for myself because I like Star Wars and I like pajama pants. I get a lot of comments from people asking me why I park so far away from the building. Like I parked back here and Goodwill's way over there, like all these available parking spots and I chose to park over here. And honestly, I don't know why. I just I just don't like parking like in a big group of people. I'd rather just park out here so nobody messes with my car. I don't have to worry about hitting anybody when I back out. And I get a nice little brisk walk on the way in and on the way out. Close. Betty's in bed. Hey. <laughs> you had the sock ready for me. I love you so much. 
So I've got like an hour and 15 minutes before I have to be at my haircut appointment. So I'm going to clean my office because as you can see, it needs it. Cleaned up. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated. So I'm going to go ahead and take these shoes that we got today and get them boom listed. I also want to list that camera bag we picked up today, but it's too big to fit here. It just, it, it takes up too much space and there's too much stuff in the way to put it here in my normal flat lay area. So I just went and put it on the concrete over here. I don't know why I went all the way over here. I could have, I could have went right there. That's totally fine. But uh, I think taking it and putting it on the concrete, especially when it's in the shadow, like there's no direct sunlight. I think it would look really good if you just take a picture you know, kind of just like that and crop out the the, the stairs and the grass on either side. Uh, I think it'll look good enough to get the sale and that's all that matters. Come on, Mose. I gotta go. I gotta get my hair cut. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. Hey, Mose. Ooh. Yeah. I just, I went to go get my hair cut. I was going to do a before and after, like, like this is my hair before the cut and then like a cool transition and then to this my hair now uh but my gopro died in the car on the way to uh on the way to get my hair cut so here's my here's my hair is it looking mose i have something for you i put it in the dryer before i left and it's done let's go get it let's go get it there it is what's that it's a frankie's fun park out what you don't what get it yeah, there you go. Love you so much. All right, folks, so I think that is gonna do it for me today. Haley's gonna be home from work in like an hour or so, and I've gotta get this video that I'm filming right now edited and uploaded. So if you guys watched this video today and you've enjoyed it at all, be sure to take a few seconds and hit that like button down below. It's totally free and really helps me and the channel out a ton. And if you're watching this video and you have not yet clicked the subscribe button down below, go ahead and do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>